first of all, he is the go-to producer for a lot of acts right now. But we're so excited because we love his work on Brandy's album. And we're so excited for his work on Fantasia's album and so many others. Please welcome for the very first time to TKIF, our boy Harmony's in the building. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? <laughs> Harmony, first of all, shout out to you. First of all, can I just tell you how much I love the song that you did for Brandy's album, Without You? Oh, thank you, man. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, it was an honor to work with Brandy on that song in the first place. But, you know, Brandy's one of my favorites in the, like, in the industry. So to have her come to the studio and do that song was a, was a, was a, was a, was a great honor. What, what, was, what was it like being in the studio with Brandy? You know, we always ask producers when they drop by, but I like to get different perspectives. You have Brandy in the studio with you. What was that like? Uh, what can I say? Uh, probably I was in shock, firstly, because, you know, when you, you look up to someone and, you know, she's your favorite singer and, and you know, next minute you're in the studio with her, it's mind-blowing. And then she gets behind the mic, and you're like, "This is really real. Like she really does sound like that." <laughs> it's not. It's you know. You know, you know. Some people they go through a whole bunch of uh, 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 tricks and, and and stuff to make their voices sound great, but her yeah. voice is just naturally amazing. So it was real powerful. And you know, she sung that song from her heart. Like she meant that. <laughs> so she definitely it was did. Real great. It was. Real. I, I think I spent most of the session with my mouth open, like, "Wow." <laughs> And she was like, let me do it again. I'm like, why? It's right. It's perfect. Leave it alone. But, you know, she's amazing. She's amazing. You know, I, we heard that that song was originally um, created for Alicia Keys. How did it end up in Brandy's hands? Well, you know, the music industry is a strange place. <laughs> and, you know, some records you do with a person in mind, and then next minute someone else does it. Um, when it came to that song, we did it for Alicia Keys, and it actually was in, our, it was in my you know, dry for about a year and a half, maybe two years. Wow. And um, Brandy cut it. Uh, they, we, we sent it to Brian, who, you know, she, who she works with, and Brian was like, that's a Brandy. And I was like, really? You think so? He's like, yeah. So, you know, he had to come over to the studio and, and, and do the record. And, and she was like, did you write that record for me? And I was like, uh, no, but it's good for you. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. But um, no, it was, it, it was, I mean, a lot of my records, uh, even if we go to Think Like a Man, when we did that record, that wasn't for Jennifer Hudson in mind, mm. uh, for the movie Think Like a Man. Um, it was actually for, again, Alicia Keys, but, you know, Tricky came over the studio, was like, no, nah, Jennifer. And, you know, sometimes you just got to let the, 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 the music take its part and, you know, you just let it roll. And it, and it worked out great. Have you had an opportunity to have a song with Alicia Keys? You've written a couple of songs for her, right? No, 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 no. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> Can we send out a, a mayday to um, Alicia? <laughs> Harmony's writing a bunch of songs for you. <laughs> and really great songs. Uh, if you guys just tuned in, I'm here with super producer Harmony. Finally, we, you know, we love to get producers here on the show, especially producers we feel are going to... And you already started making an impact on the industry, but we feel like you're going to make an even bigger impact. So we'd love to have you for the very first time here. Yes, sir. You know, Harmony, so we got to talk about um, the new work that you're doing with Fantasia. Everyone's talking about Fantasia. Um, I mean, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, <laughs> but you cannot deny her talent. And, yes, sir. And I heard that you are 99% of her new album. Yeah, I, I'm pretty much EP in the whole album. Um, I did 14 of the 15 songs on there. Wow. And, um, it, you know, we did, she just came to the studio and it just rolled off. Like, it, was, it wasn't hard at all. Like, she just came in and it was just really easy. And the one thing, you know, I know the media and everybody <clears throat> has an opinion about the young lady, but she's actually a very beautiful girl. When, she, when, you, when you get to really sit down with her, she's got a big heart. I mean, she, she really wants to... Um, help a lot of people so it was funny when she came in i was apprehensive i was like mm, i don't know <laughs> but she came in and the first song she cut in two hours in two hours wow i was like how do you do that she cut it in two hours and you know we did five songs in a week and um wow. she she's she's amazing and you know she puts her heart and soul on the microphone like she comes into that studio and she's she's feeling 
her or she's feeling down, you're going to hear it. It's not a lie. She's not fabricating it. You know, she's really who she is. And um, she really, really put her foot in this album. And like she said, I'm going to prove to everybody that, you know, I'm, 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 a, I'm an artist. And, um, and she, did, she made a great body of work. And when I say from, you know, the least to win single to the next single, which is going to be without, um, without me, um, mm. and it's got some great features on the album, which I can't really say right oh, now, my God. but I know they got some, you got some great features that everyone will be like, wow, I didn't expect that feature to happen. So, you know, it's very exciting. And she doesn't lie on the album. She talks about stuff, you know, that, that hurt her. She talks about stuff that she did to her other people. And, you know, she just, she just is open and, and, and truthful. That's what I would say that she did with this album. Do you think that this is, I know you called it a truthful album. Do you think this will be her coming out album? Because she's had some incredible uh, albums before. I would say this is the one that people are going to be like, it's an album for, for people to be like, I relate, I understand, and they're going to look at her differently. Because even though, you know, she, she has made her mistakes and she has uh, played a part in the industry, and in her life she's, she's been open to certain things, this album is an album that she gets to tell everybody. You know, we don't always have, get to hear Fantasia explain herself. Mm -hmm. So this album, she gets to kind of explain herself, you know. And, and it's, it's the, probably the best way for her because now she really, like, if you put it on your iPod or you put it on your CD player, it's just you and her. There's no interruptions and there's no, you know, anyone twisting the story. It's just her explaining herself purely. Where, where, where did you guys um, spend the, the sessions recording this album? Was it here in the States or were you guys in the UK? No, we did it because um, I live in Los Angeles now. I moved, okay. I moved from London to Los Angeles three years ago. So we did the album in, in Los Angeles in my studio. And uh, um, like we spent uh, maybe two months in the studio a lot away. And, you know, she, 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 she'll come in the studio, you know, mad early in the morning, like 11 and she'll be there all day. Even if we finish, she'll be like, I just want to chill and just have fun. And, you know, we had laughs. We had cries. I seen her cry, you know, because she felt, you know, she, she, she was dealing with stuff. And she was like, put the microphone on. I'm ready to go. And you put the microphone on, and you'd be in shock. Like, let's go. And, now, and she doesn't sound like the other albums. Everyone expects Fantasia to sound the way. This is Fantasia like no one's ever heard before you know fantasia at a completely different place you know so i'm very happy for her and she's looking healthy she's sounding great and she's really she's really excited about showing the world what she's been doing and we're excited about sharing the world with uh, with you harmony first of all <laughs> i mean we, i always like to get in the brain of a producer when you get into the studio with an artist what is what is your plan of action when you're getting into the studio like with an artist like brandy or an artist like fantasia um, I think one of the first things that we have to do as producers is make the artist feel comfortable. You know, an artist will never be truthful or, uh, or give you the best that they can give if they don't feel like they trust you. So one of the main things is making them feel like they trust you. So trust you with information, trust you with, with um, the way you carry yourself, even trust the environment they're in the studio. You can't really just have people come by and say, what up? You have to make them feel safe and secure. So... One of the things was trust, and then secondly is, you know, as a producer, you're like a coach to a basketball team, mm. and, and you gotta, you got to make sure that, you know, as a coach, you, you, you put the right plays out. So I have to make sure the right songs are in place, the right tracks are in place, you know, not just to get emotionally involved, but also remember I have a, a label to, to satisfy too, because, you know, the labels don't always agree with the artists, so there's a lot to it. Mm -hmm. But um, I guess with this project, working with, with Fantasia and working with a lot of people, Seven and Chris Brown, I guess we found we found ground with them. You know, the labels love what we did and the artists love what we did. And that's, I guess that's why we're doing so well. You, you know, Harmon, I mean, you, you had a lot of success in the UK and then you came over here to the States and now you're having a lot of success over here. How would you compare the music market in the UK to the music market here in the US? How is it different, or is it the same? Uh, it's very different. I mean, it doesn't take as long to break a record in the UK. Mm. Um, there's only so many radio stations we have, and, you know, I mean, if you look at the whole of England, it's an island. It's not big at all. You can <laughs> probably England 20 times in America, so mm -hmm. it's very small. 
So um, it's a small market, and you know you only sell only certain amounts. But in America, uh, you guys have so much ground to, to 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 make, and you have to do so much promotion, and it takes a while for it to you know pick up steam. So that's one of the big, the biggest difference. And then secondly, you know London's very multicultural in its music. So you know on the same stage or the same radio station, you're going to get. Coldplay, Jay Z, Beyonce, Kanye West, uh, the, like a, a vast amount of records on one station. You know what I mean? Where out here, it's kind of like you know, you got your urban station, you got your pop station, and, and 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 so on and so forth. So there's a lot of difference in you know the way the music is played as well in, in both countries. I know you're working with a lot of um, artists here in the states, but do you still work with a lot of artists in the UK as well? Yeah, we, I mean, we go back to the UK real soon to work on some more stuff. Um, we did some, a group called JLS, that's a pop band. Yeah. Uh, one of my one of my boys, Chipmunk, who Chipmunk is actually his name is Chip now. He signed to PI right now. Yeah. Um, we, I did his last album, um, and he's about to do his new album for the states. But his last album, you know, we had Chris Brown, Trey Songz, Kerry Hilson on it, Novato. So uh-huh. you know, we got a lot of things coming up. Tiny Temper. And, you know, so home is always going to be home. And, and, the, and the funny thing is, is now home really wants me to come back home. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it, it's an exciting time to, be, you know, be, be in both sides of the world at the moment. Most definitely. You know, we just played um, Seven Song. I like it. Uh, first yeah. of all, how did, how did the collaboration with you and Seven come about? And what can we expect, well, expect from her, yeah. her music? Well, you know, she signed to Chris Brown. Yeah. So... When I went in with Chris to do the Fame album, we did. We she she co-wrote uh, "All My Love" and said with me with us. So, you know, that was the first introduction. And you know, um, bonded with my sister. You know, she's a good friend of mine. And um, she came to the studio, and she just like she's a muso. Like she she got music in her soul. So she comes in and she's like she's just humming this beat like ooh, I like it, I like it. And I'm like that's crazy. Like she knocking the, the table. And I said, give me 20 minutes, and I go back in my room, and basically that's how the record was worked. And then it's funny, because it took a year for the record to come out. Like, the, the record was in my computer for a hot minute. Wow. And, um, and she was still writing and working with Chris on the Fortune album. And then, you know, the label, the label said, nah, we got to run with this one right now. So, oh, and we really um, like it. it, it, was, it was <laughs> they like it. <laughs> we really, really like it. Are, are you working on other tracks with her for her new her debut? Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, we we did more songs before, and you know we're working on more songs for for seven. Like seven, seven, and and, and the CBE family. You know, they they like family. You know, so mm-hmm. it's always we're always around playing playing music, and they're always playing that stuff. So it's really exciting. And being around them, you know, there's so much creativity. You know, you don't know what's going to happen in the room. You know, stuff just happens. And, you know, Say It With Me was done on a Friday. Oh, My Love was done on a Saturday. And it was just like, wow, really? <laughs> you just did two songs for, you know, these, these tracks, albums too. real quick. Love, you know love, what I'm saying? Love, so, love, love those tracks, too. That's what, those are some sure. of my favorites from uh, the Fame album. Uh, shout out to yeah. you, Harmony. First of all, has, you know, with all the success, you know, I, I mean, I know this is just the beginning for you, but you're getting so much praise from so many different directions. How did how did how do you stay grounded and focus on the work? Uh, I'm a church boy, so mm. <laughs> you know, Jesus got to be the center. Um, I'm a church boy, so you know, I keep God real set, like real centered in everything I do. And you know, you got to remember that you know everything that goes up always comes down. So mm. I guess I'm I'm enjoying the, the wave, and I, I always remember that you know there was a day when no one even knew my music. And, you know, I've seen a lot of people come up and blow up and they've done very well and then disappear real quick. Mm-hmm. So I never get too, I never get too, I mean, I enjoy the moment, but I never let my mind take over the moment and think, yeah, well, this is me. I always re- remember that, you know, it takes more than me. It's a team thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't just me. There's, there's a whole bunch of us that it takes, it takes to break the record. It's the label, it's the artist, it's the choreographer, it's the video. So, you know, I'm just a part of a, of a story. Most definitely. You know, I, I know you've worked with a lot of great artists. I mean, we've named just just a few of them. Who are some dream collaborations that you have or even collaborations that are coming up? Uh, I'm definitely doing that Yay and Kanye. Kanye West and Jay-Z thing. I'm getting one on the next ball because 
you know, those are two people who I saw is very similar. You know, Kanye West, and no one believed him, said that he's going to make it. Jay-Z, no one wanted to sign him and said he couldn't make it. And, you know, where I come from in London, they didn't believe I was going to make it. So, mm. you know, I feel like I relate to them very much. And I love them. They're both, they're both my favorite rappers. So to, to work with them will be an honor. Most definitely. Most definitely. Any, um, any other producers or writers you, you would love to work with as well? Uh, my man, uh, Timberland. Like, I love Tim. Like, Timberland is one of my biggest idols in the game. Um, I had the privilege of, uh, you know, seeing him in the studio, and I played him some stuff, and he was kind of wowed by it, which kind of shocked me. So, because <laughs> it's, it's Timberland, you know, so um, working with Tim is definitely something that I would love to experience. Um, I guess most of the writers that I've wanted to work with, I kind of have worked with. So, you know, I haven't really found someone that I was like, I definitely want to work with, but I do, I do appreciate a lot of the, the, the creativity that these writers are coming out with. Mm -hmm. um, Dream is one of my favorite writers. I think he's incredible yeah. with his pen. And Neo, who, it was a blessing to be in the studio and watch him write uh, the song we did together. Um, they don't make him with Wiz Khalifa. Um, and, you know, just to say Neo is one of them people, he, he does not stop. Like, he wrote three songs to that same track. <laughs> and it was like pick, and basically it was like pick one. I was like, really? It's like that? Wow! So, yeah, look, you're so, no slouch either, Mr. Harmony. An incredible rap. <laughs> 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 so, so yeah, that's it. And Chris Brown's a great writer too. He's like, he's a machine. It's like watching a robot in the studio. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Harmony, first yeah. of all, when it's all said and done, what would you like to leave as your legacy? Uh. To be honest with you, I want people to know that, to be like, yo, that's a dude that brought back R&B. Like, that's one of my passions to bring back R&B. Um, and I guess that's why, you know, Keisha Cole, Enough and No Love, Think Like a Man, Jennifer Hudson, Fantasia, even Kelly Rowland and Michelle Williams. Like, I just finished working with Michelle Williams' album. I just finished that whole album. Wow. Um, and Kelly Rowland and, you know, there may be a Destiny Child collaboration somewhere. I can't, I can't say if it's definite, but there may be one, but... You know, um, hold up, just hold up, Harmony. Pushing R and B as much as we can. Hold up, what do you what do you mean, a Destiny's Child? Are they going back in the studio, Harmony? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. What do you mean be, you don't, don't know, know Harmony? You know. <laughs> 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 what did you drop a single just the other day? So you know, you never know. There might be one. <laughs> oh. Well, can, can we quickly talk about talk about Michelle Williams? Is this is this a gospel gospel album or is this R and B album? Yes, it's a gospel album. Um, she felt like she really needed to. Um, engage with the Lord this time around like she was like you know she she experienced some things you know coming out of Destiny's Child you know life ain't as easy as it looks on TV so she wanted to you know really express you know how God kept her through that whole season so you know she was just on uh, Good Morning America the other day talking about depression etc so um, this album she it, I mean it's her journey on you know from when she when Destiny's Child finish and you know what she she went through so, so it's really open and she's singing on this album the one thing i would say about each album that i worked on is these girls are singing they they're, just, they're all singing they they're trying to they're trying to prove a point like they, they're not just like doing albums they're singing their hearts out so it's amazing to watch them sing i'll be in the studio like okay then <laughs> who's who's your favorite who's your favorite who's your favorite female um artist right now yeah has to be Fantasia right now. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> to be, and you gotta understand. <laughs> like I, I sound biased, but you know, to to when you experience working with her, you kind of go, mm, okay, because it's not like you know, for someone to come in the studio and le not even learn the song, like she reads the lyrics and starts singing the song, like it's like really you don't you don't need to listen to it for a few times. She's like no, wow. just run. So, and it, her soul is music. Like, all she does is believe in music. So, for me right now, it's Fantasia. What about male artists? Uh, gotta be Chris, man. You know. Chris is, Chris is definitely, I mean, all around Michael Jackson esque, you know, dances. He can go from pop to mainstream and then mainstream to urban. And then he can, he can rap like it's, it's, it's a lot. And he pulls it off very well. You know, he caters to very different markets. So, you know, he's, got, he's definitely in my top, my top three. 
you know, you, you talked about bringing back R&B. What do you think is going on with R&B and what does it need? Well, what was R&B back in the day? It was just honesty. You know, mm-hmm. people were being truthful. You know, Brandy would talk about, you know, uh, um, Have You Ever, you know, just like, lo- they were love songs, you know what I mean? Even R. Kelly, when he did, you know, You Remind Me, they were love songs. And I think everybody's very concerned about being in the club rather than writing songs that people relate to. Adele wrote an album that people related to. She sold 20 million. Hmm. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So sometimes not everybody's in the club. Some people want to just, you know, Brandy did it without me, without, without you, sorry. It's a great song. And a lot of people love the song because they can relate to it. They understand the feeling in it. You know, sometimes you don't want an album, you don't want a song that you can just melt your head to. Sometimes you want it to minister to, you, you, you know, a place in your heart. Most definitely. Harmony, thank you for making music that, that is relatable and that we can celebrate. And we're so excited for your career. And we hope you'll come back here on Kempire Radio's TKIF. Definitely. Thank you for having me, man. And, like, love for everything. And thank you for the support. Most you definitely. Know, we, we really appreciate it. Most definitely. We're going to jump into Brandy because I love this song. Here's Without You. Shout out to Harmony. Thanks, Harmony. All right, bro. Peace.